You are a data scientist and you've spent six months building the perfect machine learning model. It's accurate, it's fast, it's beautiful, and you're ready to deploy it to production. It crashes. Hard, right? Your model cannot handle the real data, it's making predictions slower than a snail, and worst of all, you have no idea what went wrong because you never set up proper monitoring. Sounds familiar? Well, my friend, you've just experienced the painful reality of why MLOps exists. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to never be that person again. Now, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Priyanka and I help make careers in cloud and AI. Today, we're diving into the complete MLOps roadmap. So first things first, what the heck is MLOps anyway? Well, MLOps, which stands for Machine Learning Operations, is basically DevOps for machine learning. It's the practice of automating and managing the entire machine learning lifecycle. We're talking about everything from training your models to deploying them, monitoring them, and updating them when they inevitably start to drift. Now, why MLOps matters? Well, here's the reality check. According to recent studies, only about 20% of machine learning models ever make it to production. And of those that do, many fail within the first year because they weren't built with proper MLOps practices. But here's the kicker. Companies are desperate for people who can actually deploy and maintain ML systems. Well, everyone and their mother is trying to learn and train models with PyTorch and TensorFlow. Very few people know how to build production-ready ML systems. This is your competitive advantage. This is what's going to set you apart in the job market. Again, let's get into it. Your complete roadmap to MLOps. ML and MLOps basics. Look, I know this might sound obvious, but you can't skip the fundamentals. You need to understand machine learning before you can operationalize it. So start with the machine learning specialization from deeplearning.ai. This is the course on Coursera done by Andrew Wang. And I've taken this course early on in my career, and I am so thankful that I did. This is not just theory, it's gonna give you practical implementations in a very systematic way. Next, grab a copy of Designing Machine Learning Systems by Chip. This book is pure gold. It bridges the gap between academic ML and real world systems. And I am about to do another deep dive on just this book alone very soon. So if you are interested in that, follow and subscribe so you don't miss that next video that's upcoming. Software engineering skills, absolutely critical. Now here's where most data scientists drop the ball. They think that they can skip the software engineering part because they are not developers. Big mistake, Python fundamentals, not just pandas and scikit-learn, but actual Python. Learn about classes, exception handling, logging, and code organization. You don't need to be a Python wizard, but you need to be able to write clean, maintainable code. Fast API or Flask, pick one. I personally love Fast API because it's modern, fast, and has automatic API documentation. But Flask is simpler if you're just starting out. Git and version control. This is non-negotiable. If you're not using version control for your code and your data, then you're playing with fire. Learn branching, merging, and collaborative workflows. Docker, huge one. Docker lets you package your entire environment into a container. No more, but it works on my machine problem for your machine learning model. It's a game changer. Testing, unit testing, integration testing, all of it. Your models are only as reliable as the code that runs them. Learn PyTest and get comfortable writing tests for your ML code. CI CD, pick GitHub Actions, Circle CI, or Jenkins. GitHub Actions is probably your best bet if you're just starting out since it integrates seamlessly with GitHub. Cloud infrastructure, extremely important. Now you're going to be deploying to the cloud, period. Pick one cloud provider and get good at it. Don't try to learn them all. I have a video on this, which I've linked here. Now, experiment tracking and monitoring. This is where things get really interesting. In traditional software, you deploy code and monitor performance. In AI ML, you're deploying models that can degrade over time as data changes. Now, MLflow is your best friend here. It tracks experiments, manages model versions, and handles deployment. Learn it inside out. 
For monitoring, Grafana and Prometheus are the classic combo for infrastructure monitoring. Datadog is great if you want something more user-friendly and don't mind paying for it. Pipeline orchestration. When you are running ML workflows in production, you need orchestration. You're not manually running scripts anymore. Apache Airflow is the industry standard. It's complex, but powerful. Learn the basics, how to create DAGs, handle dependencies, and manage failures. Now, Kubeflow is great if you're in the Google ecosystem. Metaflow from Netflix is also worth looking at. It's designed specifically for data science workflows. Pro tip, skip Kubernetes early on unless your job specifically requires it. It's complex and can take time to learn. And it's only used for, and you would need it for a large scale deployment. Okay, so you're probably looking at this roadmap thinking, where do I even begin? Well, I have added the entire roadmap link with links to all the recommended courses in the description below. And if you like this video, you will find my AI engineer and cloud engineer roadmap videos here helpful. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.